guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we are again in our series of Microtake Hotspot. In this video, I will demonstrate how to do bandwidth limit using the built-in limiter of Microtake Hotspot. We will set the rate limit parameter to, the, to do bandwidth limit. This is easy to configure, however, in this method you cannot implement hierarchical token bucket or HTB configuration. Let's get started. I have here a topology. In our hotspot, we will create two profiles, one Mbps and two Mbps. And for testing, we will connect our laptop to have one Mbps speed and our phone to have two Mbps speed. So let's access our Microtech device. Let's go to IP hotspot. Let's check first here in server profile. Double click this. So as you can see there is a field rate limit. So we will put a rate limit 5 Mbps upload and 5 Mbps download. Apply and OK. So rate limit set on the hotspot server profile will limit the total bandwidth on the hotspot network. This means a total of 5 Mbps bandwidth can only be used on our hotspot. Let's create a user then assign it to the default profile which is the default profile is this one. So let's create a user first. Click plus then input username uh, user 1 and password 1234. Then for the profile, uh, just uh, select the default. Apply and OK. So if we connect to our hotspot, I'll disable this first. Then we will connect to our hotspot. If we connect to our hotspot, we will now be limited to 5 Mbps when we do speed test. Let's just use the user1 and 1234, the username that we created previously. Click connect. All right, we are now connected. So when we do speed test, we will get the 5 Mbps bandwidth. All right, so as what you can see, the bandwidth limit is successfully applied. So if there are many users, if there are more than one user on the hotspot network, all the users will share the 5 Mbps bandwidth. So let's, we are now done with this uh, test. So let's clear the rate limit of the server profiles. Let's make a new profile. In user profile, click plus, and we will name this one 1MB profile. Then we'll set the rate limit to 1M over 1M. Then in the shared user field, this one, we'll just leave it to 1. This is the number of times a same user account can connect simultaneously. Click apply. Then OK. Rate limit set on the user profile, this one, means that each hotspot user that belongs to the profile can only use 1 Mbps bandwidth. Let's go now to users. Let's create a new user, user2. 
password 1234, then profile, uh, cancel, cancel. In user profile, let's create another profile. We'll name this one 2MB profile. And rate limit 2M over 2M. Then in the users tab, in user one, we'll click that one, then we'll change the profile to 1MB profile. Click apply, then okay. Then we will create another user. We will name this one user two, then password one, two, three, four. Then for the profile, we'll assign this one to, to MB profile. Click apply, then okay. So in our topology, we have two profiles, one MB profile and two MB profile, and we will let laptop connect to user one credentials, uh, connect to JAT hotspot using the user one credentials, and my phone will connect the JAT hotspot, then I will use the user two credentials. Let's try it now to connect to our hotspot. We'll use this laptop to connect to JAT hotspot, so we will disable the local line. Then I'll enable the Wi-Fi. All right, so we are now connected. We'll be redirected to the hotspot login page. Then we will input user one, password one, two, three, four, connect. All right, so we will do speed test. Right, so as what you can see, we are now connected and have a speed of 1 Mbps download and later 1 Mbps upload. Right, so for the upload, it's 1 Mbps. So when you visit queues, simple queues, you will see here that hotspot user 1 has a bandwidth assignment of 1M over 1M. I'll try to connect my phone. You'll see here in the active tab that my phone will be connected there. So, link put user 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 password, connect, right. In the active tab, my phone is has been connected successfully. Then, in the queue list, my my phone has a model limit assignment of 2M over 2M. So when I do speed test in my phone, you will see there in the traffic graph. I'll do speed test now. All right. So I'm getting a speed of 2 Mbps download. And 2 Mbps upload. Right. So we will try to make another user, user 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, then I'll, and I'll assign to the profile, my name is profile. Apply, then okay. I will disconnect my phone to the hotspot, then I'll connect again, but this time I will use the user number 3 credentials. So I'll connect again. I'll remove first the, in the active, so that they can be reconnected again. Alright, I will connect to the JAT hotspot. We'll connect my phone to the JAT hotspot. 
and I will input user trigger credentials. And you will see here in the active tab that my phone has been connected successfully. And you will see here in the queue list that user tree has an assignment of 1M over 1M, bandwidth limit. And my laptop, which is user 1, has also, han has also an assignment of 1M over 1M. So, I will do speed test in my computer and I will do speed test also in my phone to check if my laptop will get 1 Mbps speed this is my laptop graphic graph and this is my phone traffic graph so when we do speed test each user will be getting a 1 Mbps speed so I'll do speed test in my laptop and my phone. Alright. So for my laptop, I'm getting 1 Mbps and for my phone, I'll be getting also 1 Mbps. Alright. For the download. And for the upload, my phone is getting 1 Mbps and my laptop is getting 1 Mbps as well. So, this is it guys on how you do bandwidth limit on Microtech Aspat using the built-in limiter. So, if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.